Hey guys, it's the brand new DVD and Blu-ray update where I talk about all the new DVDs and Blu-rays I've gotten over the last probably two weeks. Now, I've gotten so many bags here. There's a stack, like massive stack here. I'll show you how many bags I've got. I've gotten one bag. These are, this is the store bag. There's one, two, three, and these aren't the same bag. Four. And five, and there's some without bags, but what happened was when I went in there, um, I got in there and the store that I went to, JB Hi-Fi, had a big sale on, and I just started picking stuff up off the shelf, and um, when I got to the counter, she said there wasn't any big bags left, so I had to get a whole bunch of small bags. So now I'll start the wallet with the ones that aren't in the bags. So anyway, I got Starship Troopers. Alright, but... I saw the first probably half hour on TV, but it wasn't that interesting, but it 20 cents. Um, I got Cast Away, the two disc edition. Uh, I saw the first 10 minutes, pretty fucking boring. But the next one I got, I've mostly got this just to make a bit of money off. Um, it was $3 and I just sold it today about 10 minutes ago for ten ninety five. So I made about 8, 10 bucks off it. And it's the Never Seen Ever Justin Bieber. Um, I got all the right movies, all the bags just fell off. Um, I got all the right movies with Tom Cruise, Craig T. Nelson, haven't seen it yet, but... And I got the Ghostbuster and Ghostbuster 2 uh, DVD collection, folds open at the front. And it's got some sketches here of what the design was going to look like, and it's got a slip cover. Still pretty cool. Okay, sorry I had to cut the camera there because I had to pick up all the bags. So let's open the first bag from JB Hi-Fi. Um, as I said, they had a big sale on. Um, they had Crazy Stupid Love for $3. Pr I haven't seen it yet, but it looks like a pretty good movie. It went down from $32 to $3, so that was pretty cool. And I got the first season of Eastbound and Down, which is $9.99. Pretty funny show, I must say. It was it was really funny. It's about this guy who plays baseball, and then he um ends up um forgetting how to throw a ball, so he ends up having to um go live with his brother and his family and try and learn how to throw a ball again. Um, and I got The Office season five part two. Love show, freaking funny. I haven't been watching it on TV lately. I saw the fifth season, no, no the fourth season on TV. Because that's when, um, because it always interferes with NCIS, so. And I've got, um, Man vs. Wild Season 3, which is the No Man's Land season. I don't like this show, but I got, really got it from my mom. It was like $4. And, um, just quickly before I go to the next bag, I'll show you what I got online. I got this Desperate Housewives Season 7 online. It was $11. Um, comes with a nice slip cover. I got it from America. Yeah, um, I got a region free Blu ray player, so let me just put my DVDs on the floor. Hang on. Oh. Alright, let's go on to the next bag. Okay, um, I got Snakes on a Plane. And yeah, um, it was 50 cents. Because it went down for $6.50. I don't know why the sales are so low. I, it wasn't a closing down sale, it was just a massive sale because apparently they had overstock. So, Snakes on a Plane. I um, must say it was really good. I thought the effects were going to be really bad, but it wasn't. It, the effects are great on this. I must say Samuel Jackson, he did a good job in this. So, um, and I've got um, the Ronnie John's Half Hour live on stage. Um, it stars Heath Franklin and um, Felicity Ward, James Pender, and I can't pronounce his last name, Jordan Rasco Plus or something. I haven't seen it yet. Um, and I got She's Out of My League, which is $5. I must say, uh, I haven't seen it yet, but it looks kind of funny on the back. But I heard some people say it wasn't that funny, but $5, you can't complain. Now the next one is the two disc edition. I'm going to get the Blu-ray box of this, but when I went in there, it was like $85. It went down from 110 But um, I'm going to wait until I see if I can get it cheaper. But this was $3. And it's the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, 2 disc edition. It was $3, but I can wait um, to see if I can get it cheap online like the Blu-ray box set. But anyway, um, now onto my Blu-rays. Um, I'll start with 
this bag first because it's the biggest bag. Um, we've got the Twilight Eclipse, which is nine dollars. Um, I like this movie, but it wasn't one of the best ones. I think New Moon's the best one, and then this one's the second best. But still, um, Collateral Damage, which is nine ninety five. Wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but still really, really good film. Next one I got, which I got for free, because I had a deal there, like, buy two, get one free. And it's Clash of the Titans. Um, I don't want to see the sequel. The sequel looks like it sucks, but this was really good, I must say. This was, this was really, really good. I really enjoyed this with Stan Worthington. Directed by Lewis, Let Raya, or whatever. Um, and I got the Born Ultimatum, which was $5. I've never seen any of them. I think there's three... In the, in the series, and I think they're making the new one, but I can't be for sure. Next one I've got is the Toy Story 3 2 disc Blu ray and DVD. Um, I must say, this looks really good on Blu ray, and for 10 bucks, you can't complain. Well, it's actually 12 bucks, but can't complain. Uh, next one here, um, the impression this bag is the three American Pie films you got American Pie, American. And, oh, that's two, three. American Pie 2 and American Pie The Wedding. And they all come in a nice lit cover. And it comes with the Blu ray and digital copy. I must say, I love these films. The first one is about um, Jim's, um, Jim's character, Oz's character, Finch's character, um, Kevin's character, and Stifler's character all trying to lose their virginity. No, sorry, Stifler's not trying to lose his virginity. Stifler's already lost his virginity. But it's pretty much um, Jim's character, Oz's character, uh, Kevin's character, and where is he? Um, that's him, Finch's character, all trying to lose their virginity. And um, I'm not going to tell you if they do or not, but hilarious. Um, second one is pretty much about. All of them go out to the cabin. Uh, Jim, Michelle, no, Michelle doesn't go. Jim, Finch, Oz, Diffler, and Kevin, they all go out to the a cabin out in the lake and they all have some fun out there. So, and the third one is pretty much about Jim's character, Michelle's character getting married. So, and um, I just went to go see the new American Pie reunion and I'll leave the link to my review down below. Um, so, yeah. And so here's the last bag. I've got some more things to show afterwards, but here's my last JB Hi-Fi bag. Okay, I've got a few steel books in here as well. So the first one I got is the Brave one with Jodie Foster. I haven't seen it yet, but for 10 bucks you can't complain. Um, I'm just going to put this Blu-ray stack down here because it, oh, it's going to fall over. It's getting a bit big. One second. I've got... Bedtime Stories with Adam Sandler, it's mostly embossed, comes in a nice slip cover. Um, back looks a bit plain, but it comes with the Blu ray and DVD. So, yep. Yeah. And here are the steel books we have the Paranormal Activity Blu ray steel book. Has a pretty good backing. I mean, this film was alright, but it wasn't too great. But, um, I mean, steel books are great, and for $15.99, they had the normal edition $15.99, and I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. It was, it was, there was like three copies left, just that I'd grab it. And the other steel book that I got is the Mission Impossible 4 Blu ray steel book. The only thing that is embossed is the Ghost Protocol here. And I must say, it's a nice steel book. And um, I was supposed to have some other steel books coming today. That was supposed to be the Cloverfield steel book and um, the Nicolas Cage movie Knowing steel book for Blu ray, but they didn't come today, so I didn't actually get a chance to do it. Um, and the last thing I've got is the Expendables Blu ray and digital copy box set. Like this, the, I had to take my original one back because it was all, all dented all around, but I got a new one, so that was pretty good. So that's that. And uh, it was originally $28, but I got it for $20 because that was a sale. So anyway, thank you for watching my DVD and Blu-ray update, and I hope to see you on my next one.